<laughs> Grab a seat. I'm just running through my ingredients to see what I'm missing. Oh, we're gonna do this now? What is it? <laughs> this is your idea! Why you gotta dump it on Paimon? <sighs> okay, so back at Longshu Inn, we noticed you and Clipting were getting along pretty well. So you really like hanging out with her, huh? Yup! Kuching's good-natured and easy to be around. The kind of person everyone wants to know, right? You're a braver person than Paimon. The first time we met Kuching, Paimon found her pretty intimidating. You think so? I remember thinking straight away that she was really easy to get along with. Didn't you see her sneaking treats to Goba back at Wang Shuin? Yeah, she's great. We know that now. We're just talking about first impressions. First impressions? Oh, okay. Hmm. Hey, have you guys eaten grilled shellfish before? They can be hard to crack at first, but they taste amazing that way. We've eaten shellfish before, but I don't think we've ever tried eating them grilled. Oh, you're missing out. I'll grill some for you another time. But anyway, Kuching's like a shellfish. Maybe a little closed off at first, but when you get to know her, she's got a soft and squishy side, too. Not to mention that even after her favorite food was stolen away, she was still happy looking after Goba. I'm really grateful for that. You make a good point. You know, Xiang Wing's intuition for people seems really spot on. Is that why she took a liking to Kuching so quickly? All right, let's see. We're okay for carrots and crab, and we still got some ham and mushrooms. Hmm, I wonder what Kuching's recipe is gonna be. Huh? What was that noise? What's going on? What the? That bird is huge! Ah, it's the ladybird! Excuse me, one shall not be addressed in such a manner. One shall be known as Adeptus, whose name, should you care to mention it, is Cloud Retainer. Cloud Retainer? That does sound like an Adeptus name. Well spoken. One shall let this young lady's enlightened words atone for the ignorant ones of her friend. A while it has indeed been, Traveler. Does one surmise correctly that you hasten hither to partake in the Moon Chase Festival? Ah, so even the illustrious Traveler has been summoned to attend the Moon Chase Festival. As expected, this year's theme stands proud against the test of public scrutiny. The theme? You mean Feast of the Bounteous Land? The very same. Moon Chase Festival falls during the season when many cooking ingredients are ripe. Hence, it is a fitting time to enjoy the finest of foods. One notice the relative pomp and ceremony with which this year's affairs are being conducted, and could not abide to stand idly by. Let it be known that one's culinary proficiency and ingenuity is uncontested in all the world. Thus does one now appear in this realm, that those who inhabit it might witness one's latest creation, a supreme cuisine machine. Uh, a supreme cuisine what? What's a supreme cuisine machine? Patience. One's purpose here today is to meet and to greet. Nothing further. All shall be revealed before your very eyes, when the time arrives. Traveler, you are one who has witnessed much of the culinary world. When the day comes, one would be most pleased to see you in attendance, offering your most vociferous ovations. Oh, so we're officially invited? Hmm. That which is implicitly understood needs not be made explicit let alone official. I shall say no more and dwell here no longer. Await my word. Be there or beware. This bird always disappears just as quickly as she shows up. Oh, wait, not bird, Adeptus. Hey, wait, isn't she technically an illuminated bird though? She's seemingly 
like someone very prestigious and very talented at cooking. She definitely, definitely loves her food. What are you all huddled together over here for? The Adeptus left already. Yay! Kunching's back! Sorry I kept you waiting, Xiangling. This is the recipe from my grandfather's notes. They're not in the best condition, so rather than bring them out of the house, I just transcribed the recipe. Unfortunately, the texts my grandfather worked with were very old. Usually faded, damaged, or both. Some parts are missing from this recipe, too. Uh, do you think you'll still be able to work with it? Oh, okay. Let me take a look. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Give me some time. I need to look into it. Sorry for the trouble. Oh, uh... You're all here? That voice sounds familiar! Sorry to interrupt your conversation. I was in the area buying a few things, and I heard the disturbance, so I felt compelled to come take a look. You mean Cloud Retainer? I saw her too. She just suddenly showed up right in the middle of the street. <laughs> Whatever adeptal power that was, she certainly knows how to make an entrance. Lady Kuching, you saw her too? <sighs> Do you, uh, have a moment? I need to discuss something with you. What is it, Ganyu? Has something urgent come up while I've been out? No, it's nothing work-related. I wanted to ask about... Um... Something personal. Is that okay? A personal matter? Involving me? Surely I haven't done anything improper recently, have I? Please, Lady Kuching? This is really important to me. Oh, uh... Okay. I noticed Cloud Retainer was here for quite a while. Did she say anything about... Mm, me? When I was young? About your childhood? No, nothing at all. What? Really? Whew. Thank goodness. I was getting really worried. Once she gets talking to people, she tends to go off on all sorts of tangents. So I was worried she might have bored you with some stories about me. <sighs> your name didn't even come up, so you've nothing to worry about. Kuching, how are you not asking a bunch of questions right now? There's obviously some juicy gossip here. Aren't you curious to find out what it is? Ah, uh, please, no, don't do that to me. Of course not. Whatever it is, I'm not curious and I'm not going to ask. If Ganyu has a secret and she wishes to keep it that way, nobody should make it their business to try and get it out of her. That's just basic decency, is it not? Uh, yes, ma'am. Paimon will never bring it up again. Kuching, I... Thank you. You're so kind and considerate. I've always seen that in you. What's that got to do with... <sighs> Honestly... Go on, you should be getting back now. Oh my, you're right, I should. Okay, everyone, please excuse me. I should get back to work now. Take good care of Kuching for me. Hey, what are you trying to say? Ah, uh, don't worry, Ganyu, we will. <laughs> Thanks. Hope to see you again soon. <sighs> Just ignore her. Hey, everyone. I just had an idea. It only occurred to me when that Adeptus showed up. Do you think the Stove God could be an Adeptus too? Ooh, could be. I don't want to assert either way, but it seems highly likely. In that case, we should go ask the Adepti about it. I think my master might be able to help. Master? You mean your teacher is an Adeptus? Uh-huh. She's over at Eugene Terrace. Come on, I'll introduce you.